I like what um, I like how you know George Clooney is obviously a big movie star, but I like what he's been able to do, uh, be able to act and direct. Clint Eastwood obviously is, a, is an example. Um, Robert Redford. Those are uh, Peter Berg. I mean, he's more of a director, but he's still an actor. You see him every once in a while, and and you know, hopefully that's where I'll be able to. If I'm on another series, if I get on another television series, then obviously I want to direct while I'm on that series. Um, but I need to do both now. I, I'm at that point in my career where I want to be acting, but I also want to direct. And so, if it's part of a TV series, yes. If it's a movie, if it's a if it's a movie that I don't feel I'm right for, but I can direct it, then I, that's fine. I don't have to act in the, the film. But I have a couple stories that I like that I would like to be in them as well. So. That you've and, it, and I don't. Yeah, yeah, that my wife has written, and so I don't, I don't have, um, and and it, and it, I don't. Uh, it does. It, I'm not afraid of being in something that I'm directing because I've already done it, you know, on the show. I'm, you know, I'm acting in without a trace, and I'm directing the episodes. So I like the challenge of that. The fun challenge. Have you shot the last scene? I mean, have you shot the last? Oh yeah, episodes? everything. And, yeah. And so you know the ending, or is there an ending? It, not really. It's is just, that an it open just, ending? Or? It, no, it yeah, it just ends. It's just um, they. What was your last? I oh, know you can't tell. No, me, you can tell. You want to oh, know? Okay. Right. What were you gonna ask? The <laughs> last scene. My How last. How did you feel when you when you said goodbye to Martin? Well, see, I didn't know that it was over. <laughs> no, we, oh, it's true. It was yeah, the end no, of the season. Yeah, it was the, the finale. Yeah, we were. Yeah, we were. For you, it was a finale. Yeah, we were getting ready to go on to the to season eight, we, we had already gone home. I was I was still editing my episode that I directed. I directed the second to last episode. And um, so I was still in the editing room and get you know doing post on it. And so I was around quite a bit longer than most everybody else had already moved on. And, and, then, and then that was over. And then all of a sudden I you know got this phone call that the, the show was canceled. So, you, you, so you, can you tell me? I mean, you know, there's no really, there's no really. It's another missing persons case, and you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. there's nothing it's happening like the to other you. Ones, I mean, you know, I mean, you know, Sam had a baby. I mean, you know, you had, there yeah. were storylines that were more well, elaborated recently. Have, do you do you know that Martin gets involved with this woman? Have you seen that yet? No. Okay. No. Yeah, Martin gets Martin does this season. Mart, Martin gets involved with a. Yeah, he gets, but it's a it's a, a it's an interesting relationship that he gets involved with. Okay. He gets involved with a very mysterious woman. Yeah. So what are you gonna? Because you said. This do you know? Do you know who yeah, Vanessa Marcel is? Sure. Yeah. Sure. With her. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And do you think it's a good ending for the show, or maybe uh, best? The end of the show. It is a good end. Well, you know what's funny is sometimes when a show knows that it's going to be over, they plan a big yeah. ending, and it's not very really good. Like Seinfeld, <laughs> it wasn't a great ending, right? It was a bit silly, and so. Oh, Friends. Yeah, yeah. and in a way, it's kind of nice that our show just ended the way it ended. Mm. It just there's no, it just there's kind no of bang. it's there's over. No, yeah. no bang. Life goes on. Yeah. yeah. So, what are you going to miss the most about the show and the people you work with? Oh, the new character. Um, I'm going to miss the people I worked with. You know, I, Enrique and I, the, Enrique Merciano and I had a great time. He's a good friend and, and, um, and uh, it, it'll be hard. You know, Poppy was going to come to this, but I think she got some work, so she's not going to be coming down. It's too bad because we were going to, looking forward to hanging out together down here. Rosalind, was, you know, everybody, Marianne, it was, it was a good group of people. Um, they were very supportive of me when I was directing. Um, and I'll miss the paycheck too. You know, it's nice, <laughs> nice getting a pay. You know, nice getting a little check. But that's okay. Yeah, I don't know if the, the question were was asked, but I, uh, I knew that you are, you are going to play the perhaps the Steve McQueen life. And that's why you cut your your hair to, to look like Steve McQueen. Hey, I'd love to do. I'd love to do a Steve McQueen movie. Um, and now another. You said I can. Now I can see them. I can see it. You know who looks like Steve McQueen too is Daniel Craig. Yeah. Don't yeah, you but, think? Yeah, but you a little look more bit? like no? him. Yeah. No. You look more like him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Like too many him. muscles. Yeah. 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 It's light. But <laughs> yeah, he is. Yeah, he is, right? <laughs> which, which part of uh, the Steve McQueen life is it? I've already played one Steve McQueen character. I did a TV series called The Magnificent Seven. Oh, and okay. I played Vin Tanner, okay. who was... Steve McQueen. Yeah, yeah. I looked McQueen. different. I had long hair and everything, but... Um, I like Bullet. That's a great movie. Yeah. Uh, 
Sand Pebbles. He did a lot of he did a lot of great movies. I, he's but hopefully I can create my own movies, and then one day you know you'll say, "Hey, are you gonna play an Eric Close movie?" <laughs> And what are your best uh, memories from the set during the best uh, seven years? My best memories were were the laughter, having having fun. You know, it was between it, takes. Though. Yeah, between. Not the, on well, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes it, you would start laughing and you couldn't stop. You know, and they would say, you know, they go still go to call action and you. You know, you just it's good to pull, and that was fun. You know, I enjoyed that. You'd have to kind of walk away for a few minutes and regroup. Um, I enjoyed that part of it. Uh, another thing I really enjoyed, it's, it's, it's a simple thing, but I enjoyed driving onto the studio lot uh, and saying hi to the security guards at the gate. You know, you, you pull in and give them your ID, and they're just, you know, the re regular guys, and they always say, hey, love, I hope the show comes back next year, and you just, that little thing, and then you would drive on, and then there's the big giant sound stages and and I and I, you know I remember when I was first starting out as an actor I remember going I remember going on the the lots and looking around and saying you know maybe one day I'll you know, maybe one day I'll be here and work on this and now getting that chance to work on on the studio lot was was a real pleasure I, I enjoyed that and then the other thing I loved about I love about filmmaking is I love working at night I love outside I love working outside at night and when they wet everything down, you know, the water and the lights and Would that's... Would you shoot downtown? Would you shoot yeah, downtown? we shoot downtown yeah. a lot. Yeah, it's great. I love shooting downtown. Um, and as a director, uh, facing challenges that with the weather sometimes, you know, we'd have rain and you have to kind of rethink something or a crane would break and then you'd have to think, okay, well, how am I going to do this scene now? I, I wanted this big shot with the crane, but that's not going to work, so... Um, or when the producer's going, okay, you got to wrap in a half an hour, and you're thinking, well, I've got two hours of work left to do. What am I going to do in 30 minutes? That's the director's point of view. Yeah, right? exactly. And yeah. I enjoyed all those kind of challenges. It's fun to be pushed to be creative and and work with a team of people. I, I love that. I love working with a great uh, the, the, the the crew, the director of photography, Chris Faluna. If I do it, when I go do my movie, he's going to be my director of photography. Have you kept is it easy to, to meet producer for you? I mean, to make a movie or a TV series? Pardon? Is it uh, easy to meet producer producer for you? To meet them? Yeah, um, yeah when, I get, when I get back into Los Angeles, um, I'll start taking meetings with people. But is it easy? Yeah, I mean, because you have your... Well, I, I, have, yeah, I have relationships with people, friends. Um, uh, I don't know if you remember, I did a series a few years ago called Dark Skies. Mm -hmm. And the producer, the executive producer of that... No, was it this brother? Sorry. No, it was uh, Bryce Zabel. I'm going to sit down with him and talk about...